Hello friends, welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I'm going to show you the latest version of Ionic that is about to launch. So let's go to the Ionic blog directly. So how to go to the Ionic blog? Well, you can directly go here and search for Ionic blog in your search engine and you will get the first link. So kindly open it up. And if you just scroll down, you will see that announcing the Ionic so how much 7.5.0 that is a version that is being announced okay but uh, it is in use also i'm going to show you how it is in use now if you just scroll down what it is said that it is a huge update it is being said right and mostly really it is related to this standalone one i'm going to show you how because this is the project which I have just created and if I just check the version here in the package.json file you will see that the version is 7.5.0 and the iron icons version is 7.2.1 alright so we have all the latest version here and if I compare it with my last project which I just created that is the swipe button one which was a ng module project right there if i just check the version here it was 7.0.0 so what does it say that the changes are being applied only on the standalone one not on the ng modules one okay now if i just close it and check this out dynamic font scaling will be an option that will be generated and if you just change the size of the font size of your application not an exactly an application of your phone then it's going to pass on everywhere in your application <laughs> that is how it is going to work all right which you can just see here this is a nice example how it will work now i'm interested in something else angular standalone components what is changed here so basically what is being done here in the standalone one they are removing the modules file from all the places and you can use whichever things that you need the most that is why the final bundle size will be reduced to a great extent that is what they are trying to achieve and we can see an example here also let me just show you this is the standalone one project and if i just go to the home page typescript file I'm just going to show you forget about the commented ones I'm just going to explain you a little later but focus on the imports one you have iron header iron toolbar iron title iron content and iron icon if you are using it right now we are not using it so I'll just remove it and these are imported from at ionic slash angular slash standalone that is the package that is being used here so earlier we used to use ionic module directly and the common module and all of the stuff but right now if you want to use all these things you have to like import it separately even you can use iric module also but still some of things some of the things will still remain that is why you need to focus on all this stuff and even the iron icons also directly removed so you cannot use iron icons directly you have to use it in this particular way all right i'm just going to show you but let me just show you here at first what are the other things now let me just scroll down so toast anchor positioning all right so this is a new position or new property actually that is being introduced to anchor the toast above or below a ui component all right so upon any component like you can pass this toast message that is what is being shown here we are going to test it i think okay after iron taps all right all right so you can just have this toast message above the tabs one that is being shown here and the anchor position is my tab bar all right so this is how it is being done it will be positioning above the tab bar so earlier on when we used to have tab bar and we work with the toast one directly it's going to pop up on top of it means on on overlapping the two iron tabs but right now we have a option for that that is great in fact I like it then we have a change in the daytime also so we are going to like try it later on all right so what is being changed well everything looks same to me what is changed here you have a uh, new support for each okay h11 and h24 okay this feature joins the existing h12 and h23 all right so that is how it is being done we have new additions now we can the developers can install 7.5 version also from the latest tag on npm all right so if you install the latest version you will get the 7.5 version automatically now something is not shown here why is that so let me just see now how to implement the iron icons here it is not shown exactly but i think it was there they might have removed it i saw it few days back never mind let's try it now 
So if your ion icon is not working directly, basically what you need to do, you need to like have at first, if I want to implement ion icon here, let me just show you what exactly I need to do. Let me remove everything. Okay. Even this one too. Along with that, I'm going to remove this too. And this one, I'm going to give ionic 7.5, 5.0. Okay. And also I'm going to remove everything from the SCSS. And now I will simply work with ion icon here in this way. So as you can see, I'm getting an error. This ion icon is not getting detected. What if I use, let me just show you in the TS1, instead of this imports, if I add here ion icon, it's going to work. Ion icon, you can see, it's going to work. And not from actually at angular slash, at ionic slash angular, it's going to be from this standalone one. All right, so it will be added here. This is the one. If you do that, you won't face an error here and you can directly work with that. But if you don't want in that way, still, I think we can use ionic module. Let me just check it. Imports ionic module. If I just do that up, still, I think we will not have any problem here. Okay. But I don't want to use it since they are trying to remove it. So why should we proceed with the same stuff, right? I'll go with this particular one. Now, if you want to add some icons, you simply need to do what? You have to use add icons function here, okay? And you need to pass it in your constructor of that particular page and import it. So once you import it, it's going to import from ion icons and whatever icon you want to use, you need to pass it here. Like I want to use add circle here or let me use add here. Okay, let me remove this. Say like I want to use add and I will, I'll do what? I will simply have to import it from this particular one in this particular way. All right. So once I do that up, it's going to be easier to work with this particular icon now. Name, add. Now you will see the icon. All right. Let me enlarge it. For which I'll pass ion icon font size to be 2 rem. Or if you want a little bigger than 5 rem. Now it is properly visible, right? Okay. Let me try to use something else. If you want to use circle here, add circle, you cannot pass hyphen circle. You need to pass in this particular way, add circle and simply change it to add circle here. And you cannot use add now. Just look at it. We don't have any icon as such. We can simply use add circle here. That is how it needs to be done. And you can see the add circle. If you want both of them or let's say we want something else. Let's say alarm. Spelling is wrong. Alarm now. You need to add it here. Whatever icon you want to use, you simply have to do it in this particular way. That is how we are like they are removing the ion icons dependency here. And whichever you want to use, you can use it. That is what it is being said here. Where was it? Yes, in point number one, removing ion icons SVGs that are not used. So that's what they are doing it here. So only the ones which are in use, you can use them. That is how it is being done. So that is what I have shown you like alarm and I can use this alarm also. I'll just copy and paste and simply have alarm here. Let's check it out. There you go. You can see how it is being used here, right? This is a new approach to Ionic standalone one. We have seen the modules one, but they are going to make a lot of changes with time to time in order to make it much better. And this is all depending on the Angular one because in Angular also these things are getting changed. That is why it is being implemented in the Ionic one also. So I hope you have got a little clear picture about how to use the Iron icons in the standalone project now. Right. So with that being said, uh, I'll wrap up this video here. I hope you like this particular video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button to subscribe to the channel and also do check my courses and the templates tool. All the links are there in the description. Go and check that right now.